Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is Bell Manfred algorithm. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network survey tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, Bell Manfred algorithm is also used to find shortest path from source node to all other nodes in a network. And this algorithm is mainly used in distance vector routing protocols. Whereas if you consider dextrous algorithm, dextrous algorithm cannot handle negative edges. But whereas Bell-Manfred algorithm can handle negative edges. But when compared to dextrous algorithm, Bell-Manfred algorithm is slow. And this algorithm is based on RIP protocol, where RIP stands for Routing Information Protocol. Initially, this algorithm will find better routes. And again, updates are done, even if better routes are found later. These are advantages of Bell-Manfred algorithm when compared to dextrous algorithm. Bell-Manfred algorithm will work for negative edges and it is very simple and easy to implement and this algorithm is based on router information protocol. This is the disadvantage. Yes. Applying Bell-Manfred algorithm for large networks is very slow and if any negative edges form cycle, then Bell-Manfred algorithm cannot handle. So Bell-Manfred algorithm cannot handle cycles for negative weights. Now I will explain Bell-Manfred algorithm with an example. Got this is an example for Bell-Manfred algorithm. These are various routers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Total there are 7 routers. So we need to apply shortest distance n minus 1 times that is 7 minus 1 times that equal to 6 times. Now total we need to find shortest distance 6 times. Initially we will mark 0 for source node. I will consider A as source node. So I will mark 0 for source node. And then for all other nodes we need to mark infinity. Infinity means unvisited. Whenever we visit that particular node we need to replace infinity with the distance. Now we will write connections. At first I will select A. A is connected to B. And similarly, A is connected to C. And A is connected to D. So I am writing here A comma D. And similarly, second one is B. B is connected to only E. So I will write here B comma E. And next one is C. C is connected to B and E. So I will write here C comma B and C comma E. And next one is D. D is connected to C. And D is connected to F. So I will write here D comma C and D comma F. Next one is E. E is connected to G. So I will write here E comma G. And next one is F. F is connected to G. So I will write here F comma G. And G is last node. No need to write. Now from source node, we need to visit each and every node. And then we need to replace infinity with the distance. First one is A to B. From A to B, distance is 5. So replace infinity with 5. So from A to B distance is 5 and similarly from A to C distance is 5. So replace infinity with 5 and similarly from A to D distance is 5. Replace infinity with 5 and from B to E distance is from A to B distance is 5. So 5 minus 1 that is 4. So from B to E distance is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. So right here 4. So from C to B distance is this 5 minus 2 that is 3. 3 is smaller than 5, so replace 5 with 3. So from C to B, distance is 3. And from C to E, from C to E, distance is, so C node distance is 5. So 5 plus 1, that is 6. But 4 is smaller than 6, D not to consider. So from C to E, distance is 6. But no need to replace, because already 4 is smaller distance. And from D to C, distance is, D distance is 5. 5 minus 2, that is 3. 3 is smaller than 5. So replace 5 with 3. So from D to C, distance is 3. And from D to F, distance is D contains distance 5 minus 1. That is 4. So from D to F, distance is 4. And similarly, from E to G. From E to G, distance is 4 plus 3. That is 7. So replace infinity with 7. And similarly, from F to G, distance is 4 plus 3. That is 7. Already there is 7. And even from F to G, distance is 7. No need to replace. Already there is 7. So we visited first time. We need to visit 5 more times. Second time we will visit. So second time, from A to B, distance is 5. But 3 is smaller than 5. So there is no change. And similarly, from A to C, distance is 5. But 3 is smaller than 5. So there is no change. Similarly, from A to D, that is 5. So already there is 5. There is no change. And next one is B to E. So from B to E distance is 3 minus 1 that is 2. 2 is smaller than 4. 
now we need to replace 4 with 2 so there is change i replaced 4 with 2 and it's shown c to b from c to b distance is 3 minus 2 that is 1 1 is smaller than 3 so replace replace 3 with 1 so from c to b distance is 1 and similarly from c to e from c to e distance is 3 plus 1 4 but already 2 is smaller so there is no change similarly from d to c distance is 5 minus 2 so already there is 3 there is no change and from d to f distance is 5 minus 1 that is 4 already there is 4 so there is no change and similarly from e to g distance is 2 plus 3 that is 5 so 5 is smaller than 7 so replace 7 with 5 so replace 7 with 5 and again from f to g distance is 4 plus 3 7 so 5 is smaller than 7 so there is no change so we visit a second time again we need to visit third time so from a to b distance is 5 so there is 1 already no change so from a to c distance is 5 already there is 3 no change and similarly from a to d distance is 5 already there is 5 no change and from b to e distance is 1 minus 1 that is 0 so 0 is smaller than 2 so replace 2 with 0 so your distance is 0 similarly from c to b distance is 3 minus 2 1 already there is 1 so no change and similarly from c to e distance is 3 plus 1 that is 4 but already there is 0 so no change d to c distance is 5 minus 2 that is 3 already there is 3 no change and from d to f distance is 5 minus 1 that is 4 already there is 4 no change and from e to g distance is 0 plus 3 that is that is 3 3 is smaller than 5 so replace 5 with 3 i replaced 5 with 3 and from f to g distance is 4 plus 3 that is 7 but 3 is smaller than 7 so no change and again we will visit 4 time so from a to b distance is 5 but 1 is smaller no change and from a to c distance is 5 but 3 is smaller no change and again from a to d distance is 5 but already there is 5 so no change and similarly from b to e distance is 1 minus 1 0 already there is 0 so no change and from c to b 3 minus 2 1 already there is 1 so no change and c to e distance is 3 plus 1 but already there is 0 no change and from d to c distance is 5 minus 2 that is 3 already there is 3 no change and from d to f distance is 5 minus 1 that is 4 already there is 4 no change and from e to g distance is 0 plus 3 3 already we have 3 no change and from f to g distance is 4 plus 3 that is 7 but already there is 3 which is smaller so no change guys if you observe here in fourth visit there is no change guys in fourth step there are no changes so however in fifth and sixth also there will not be any changes so now you can stop so we can stop now we got shortest distance from source node to all other nodes now shortest path is so for b1 for c3 and for d5 and for e0 for f4 and for g3 this is shortest path these are steps in bell manford algorithm guys in bell manford algorithm initially we will select one source node and we will mark zero for the source node as initially all nodes are unvisited we will mark infinity and whenever we visit each node from source node we will replace infinity with the distance and in bell manford algorithm if there are n number of nodes then we need to apply shortest to distance n minus one times for example if we consider there are six nodes then we will apply shortest to distance five times after applying shortest to distance five times we will get final result guys in exam you may get question like explain shortest path algorithms then you need to explain both the algorithm and as well as bell manford algorithm 